Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a spicy brew built around the new Drog Skull Reaver in combination with Starving Revenant, which is an infinite combo, infinite loop that does infinite damage and you uh, gain infinite life, essentially, uh, and draw infinite cards. But hopefully your library has more cards than they have life in it. So if you don't know how this works, the Drog Skull Reaver uh, is a 7 mana 3 5 that says. Uh, has flying, double strike, and lifelink, and whenever you gain life, you draw a card. And the Revenant um, says, descend eight whenever you draw a card. If there are eight or more permanent cards in your graveyard, target opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. So together, those two abilities, if you gain a life or draw a card, it sets them off into an infinite loop with each other, and uh, you just instantly win the game, essentially. The Revenant also lets you surveil two when it comes into play, and then if you keep one on top, you get to draw a card. So, um, and lose three life. So essentially, if you have both these come into play at the same time, and if you have Descend 8, you instantly basically win the game if they don't remove one of them or anything to interrupt. So that's the idea. We're trying to pull this off in Standard. Um, we'll see if this combo is any good. The way that we're going to do this is with a reanimation kind of package, a uh, red-black sort of package here, where we are playing um, Bitter Triumph to discard our mostly the Drog Skull Reaver. So you're trying to get this into the graveyard, and it's fine if you have a Revenant. You actually kind of want the Revenant in the graveyard as well, um, so that's fine if that's in the graveyard. Uh, bitter Reunion to help discard and remove a creature. Uh, sorry, bitter Triumph and Bitter Reunion, so both the Bitters. <laughs> We're quite bitter playing this deck. Uh, Fear of Missing Out can discard a card. Iron Crag is just another sort of artifact source that's uh, acceleration, and we want to have artifacts and enchantments and tokens because the main way we're going to try to get them both back is with Lich Knight's Conquest, which is a 5-mana sorcery that says sacrifice any number of artifacts, enchantments, and or tokens. Return that many creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. So the idea is hopefully that we have both of these in the graveyard, or just the Revenant out, um, or the Drog Skull Reaver out, and we get and we play the Revenant or get it back from the graveyard and start this loop. But if they both come to play at the same time, which you can do with Lich Knight's Conquest, um, that will start the loop as well. So... These are ways of discarding as well as the Matt Zanet little. I do not know how to pronounce this. Um, this lets you draw and discard every turn. It's also an artifact, which is useful. Um, these are both, again, enchantments, which are useful to uh, uh, Lich Knight's Conquest. One of Liliana, um, just because why not a little bit of removal and helps us discard um, the Reaver if it's in our hand. Elder uh, Dragon War is also an enchantment that we can um, sweep the board a little bit for smaller creatures. Also, we can discard, fill up the graveyard for our descend, um, which is helpful, and is also an enchantment, and also creates a token, which can be useful for the Lich Knight's Conquest. So that's good. Um, trying out some Zombifies here, just kind of like if we want to just turn four um, Zombify out a Drog Skull Reaper, that could be pretty powerful. Or if a Revenant is in the graveyard and we need to get it back, we can, we can do that. Um, we also have the Overlord, which we're mostly impending on turn two here. Also an enchantment, also fills up the graveyard. Um, so useful in this whole strategy. The Harvester of Misery is a one of, um, which is just kind of a removal spell. Something, again, you can kind of like remove something and then maybe zombify it back. Uh, things like that. So that's kind of why it's in there on turn two. And it can maybe sweep the board if you kind of zombify it back. So that can be useful. And then that's basically it. Oh, a couple push pulls. These, again, could be played on turn two as a removal spell. Later in the game, they also bring back two creatures, which is quite useful if you have both of these in the graveyard. So that's kind of the idea, is to try to get them both into play at the same time. Um, if you are, if you have the Revenant in play and then you get back the Reaver with haste, that can be good too because that'll let you uh, gain some life right away if you attack, and then that can set off the infinite combo as well. Um, mana base is just a bunch of duels. Fable Passage because we're trying to fill up the graveyard with as many permanents as we can to get Descend 8, as well as the uh, Rosh's Theater, which helps us get Descend, which is useful, and also just for potentially... Um, getting the Reaver in the graveyard and smoothing out the draws a bit. So that is the deck. This is the combo. Let's jump into some games and see if we can get the combo off in standard. All right. Drog, Skull, Reaver, Reanimator, Infinite Combo. That looks fine. Um, lead here. You can lead with FOMO. Discard this. 
and try to hit our land drops that way, I guess. Um, yeah, let's go Omo. And oh, they might kill it. That's fine. They do. Hey, ditch the Reaver here. Okay, we found a Mats Xanaril. That's not how you pronounce that, but that's a good one. Let's us loot through our deck. Find what we need. So we got the, the Lich Knight's Conquest, which is good. Piece of removal here for, for example, that. So draw land. Okay, I did draw land. Good. Let's go Iron Crag into Harvester, I think, here. Unless we want to try to save this for some reason. Nah, let's take it out. We can get it back with the Lich Knight's Conquest, potentially, too. So that could be kind of sweet. Swing with a FOMO, and then we can play this next turn. All right, there is a challenger. Just take two, okay. Hmm, interesting. There's an overlord. Um, I think we want to play this though. Would let us mill some, but this is probably better. Just try to hit land drops, and then you can also hard cast this. Let's see, so we can have two things we could potentially bring back. Let's just see what we draw here. Land is good, so get rid of the Reaver. Let's see what this land hits. A lily. Um, that's fine to have, I think. Uh, sure. Another removal spell. Probably useful. Um, I don't think I want to block. They probably have like monstrous rage. Ah, uh, sure. I'll just swing here. So next turn, if we wanted to bring back both of the both of actually all three of these, we could. I think actually I think I might do that. That's probably probably pretty good. Alright, there's the ethereal armor, so they are definitely a... that sort of deck, so let's see. Manifold Mouse, so it's probably double strike here. For 8 damage, it's a lot. Okay, out of 10. Okay, there's a lily. Um, yeah, so let's... Well, we can start by just using this. Let's see what we hit. We could just hit the combo here. No, okay, zombify. Um, probably don't need this for anything at this point. And... I don't know if there's any point in attacking. Like, if they have... I feel like if they had Monstrous Rage, it would have used it. But... Eh. Let's see. We do have a stop. Hmm. Alright. I don't know. I'm just not going to risk it for any anything, any reason to... Uh, have my... FOMO die here. But, yeah, we're going to ditch all of these and bring back these uh, three, which will be pretty good. <laughs> Hopefully enough to win the game here. Yeah, oh, they did have the Monstrous Rage. Oh, okay. I was right to uh, not attack. Let's see what they got. Another one, sure. Let's see. Hopefully these Reavers are good enough to win. It's only possible. 
They are not. Oh, there's a shelter, I guess. Okay. So, finds a... First Strike, Haste Prowess. Okay. Exile that one. And then this one is going to get... Scramble or Double Strike? First strike and double strike and prowess. Okay. And just attack there. So I think we'll just block here. And we'll attack in the air. Let's see what we draw. I think. Certainly risky, but yeah, we kind of have to at this point. Okay, there's a FOMO, and there is a land. We can go FOMO Liliana. Uh, we can play the Overlord and get the back to Harvester of Misery. We're up to 16 here. Uh, I can also do this and pen this. I think... FOMO. FOMO discard overlord is probably. Okay, there's a revenant. That can be quite good to set up for next turn. Potentially for a win. Um, okay, target player sacrifices a creature. We'll make them sacrifice. Probably the Manifold Mouse, but we'll see. Okay, I'm going to ditch that one. Interesting. Okay, looking good so far. Ethereal Armor, sure. That's going to be a big boy. Lifelink, Ward, First Strike, and Haste. Nice. So probably Double Strike there. Or just trample, maybe? I'm not sure. What did they do? Trample? Sure. And then, let's see what they attack. I'm going to attack with both. This has trample as well. And they have a shard mage's rescue. So I could block this and try to make them use it there. Doesn't really matter, I guess. Well,. This surviving actually just lets me attack twice with uh, with a reaver, which which would win. Um, we'll go to six and seven. Be more fun to win with a revenant, though. Uh, so let's do that. All right, we'll just block here. Let's see what they got. Sure. Another prowess, and this is down to nine, and then seven. Land, okay. And then, yeah, this should just be enough if we go uh, land, overlord, and pend. And then the return, another revenant, play a revenant, and win the game. Very good. Um, right, ditch one, got to draw a card. Doesn't really matter, actually. Draw a card, but that triggers this ability, and that triggers that. Nice. All right. Infinite, infinite. GG. Or the win, Revenant, plus Reaver combo. I love that you don't have to click anything for this combo, too. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, and got him. All right. On to the next one. All right. Draw Skull Reaver, infinite combo on the play here. So let's lead with this. 
Hmm. I don't think I need another one. Let's start to fill up the grave is good. And happy to play out FOMO here. And ditch the Reaver. Alright, there's a Lich Knight's Conquest. Interesting. Need another land. Okay, there's a Ruby. Okay, there's a land. Good, good. Um, yeah, let's go Lily and make them sacrifice that. Pretty good. And then burst lightning on the lily. Okay, sure. Alright, swing here. Up to three types. And, ooh, that was a good draw here. Um, let's see. If we do Elder Dragon War, that's just attack here, I think. And we'll just zombify back the Drog Skull Reaver. That's pretty decent. Pretty decent. Alright. Well, I'll swing. See what they got. They do have a Witch Stalker's Friends. Okay, that's dead. That hits. And, well, Elder Dragon War. And maybe... What do we want to do? Do two. I think we'll just go discard. One of these push pulls, or maybe both. I'm not really sure we need them for anything. We got we've got the Lich Knight's conquest. Um Yeah, so that's fine. We'll just ditch both of those. Find some lands. And then Alright, all right. make our token here. Swing and swing, I think. Untap. And yeah, attack again. And then play the passage. We can get back the Reaver again if we sacrifice the FOMO. Well, that's probably worth it. Let's just do that. Or we could keep it and sacrifice the dragon. Now nah, we'll, we'll sacrifice the FOMO. And get back the Reaver. And the turn. Okay, there's an Overlord. Can do four to something? Sure. Alright, let's thin the, the deck here. So this Reaver can do 6 damage. Isn't quite enough. But let's see what we draw. Draw. Bitter Reunion. Draw. Ooh, Elder Dragon War. That'll finish them off. Alright, nice. Good game. Alright. On to the next one. Alright, Drog Skull Captain Reanimator on the play here. Keep this one. Lead with the passage, might as well. And just get a well, get a double red here, so get a mountain. And then <clears throat> this is zombifying. Nothing to discard yet. But I think I'm just going to ditch hmm, the reunion, maybe? Or the land. Go for the reunion. See what we find. Okay. <clears throat> so you're missing out. Got two types in the graveyard. Looking for either part of our combo, but Elder Dragon War is good at finding that. And there is a Deep Cavern Bat, sure. We're probably going to take the Zombify. Guess. 
But Elder Dragon War looking pretty good here. Unless they have like another discard spell for the other one. Card can sometimes be <clears throat> pretty good. Two for one, three for one. Filter through your... Uh, yeah, took one. Okay, there is something to discard. Swing here. And... See what they are up to. Deep Cavern Bat. <clears throat> Going to attack for one, most likely. And then hopefully we can resolve this Elder Dragon War next turn. That would be good. If they can discard it, that's that's pretty bad for us. Okay, there's an annex, that's totally fine. All right, there it is, the Dragon War. So let's do this for sure on one here. And then next turn, we plan to get back the Reaver, potentially. And maybe just ditch all of these other ones. I'm not sure. <clears throat> we'll see. See what they're up to. Excuse my throat. Okay. All right. Opponent playing quite slowly. Not very automatically. Go into rope. Assuming they have some <clears throat> sort of demons going on. This deck. Okay, another unholy annex. Wow, okay. Going down to nine. Ooh, nice. There's a starting revenant. Um definitely ditching this. I kinda wanna ditch all of these and try to find a, a way to reanimate. Them, but I think I'm going to keep the Revenant. I think I'm going to keep the Revenant. Um, yeah, let's just stitch these. Okay, oh, there's the Lich Knight's Conquest. Ooh, we could have could have had it. Um, but if it dies here, so I'm going to Zombify it back. <clears throat> we do need to actually get a few more permits in the graveyard. Um... And we'll get to attack twice here. Which is nice. Alright. And yeah, we do need a few more permits in the grave. So this will beat up to four, and then this will go to the grave and up to five. And then the revenant needs to be have eight in it. There's a Zombify. Alright, what you got, opponent? <laughs> Still on five life. Just playing out annexes and deep cavern bats. Not gonna save you. They could have a sweeper. Okay. Going to get the demon and then gain some amount here. Yep, yep. Okay. So we use this. Get the swamp. So this can actually trade with a demon. I'm okay with that. And this is going to die. And then... Yeah, this can't quite win the game. Because... Let's see. This can... I can untap this. I'm sure they're going to trade with it, though. Let's see what we draw here. 
Well, I'm not sure they're going to trade with it, but they probably will. I'd be very surprised if they don't. But they could just eat my fear. That's fine, too. They do that. I'm one permit away from this being a lethal thing. Okay. Totally fine. Gonna draw and draw. Okay, there's a bitter reunion. So that can put another card in the graveyard, so this should work, right? We do discard a card here. Ditch the swamp. And then do this and just draw. Put one permit into the grave and then draw the other one. I'll go to eight. And then this goes infinite. All right. Well, we're only at three life, but good enough. <laughs> All right, nice. On to the next one. All right, Starving Revenant, Drug Skull, Infinite Combo. It looks fine, good enough anyways. We use some more lands, but we'll see what's on top. Uh, yep, need the land, so we'll keep it. And we'll lead with the Homo here. Ditching the, I think one of these Lich Knights we don't need. Okay, there's Liliana. Zombify, okay. Um, fortunately, what's his attack here? So, let's use this and crack it first. Thin the deck a little, and then impend the Overlord here. Um, to do, do swamp here and impend. Okay, no creature, but that's all right. Just filling up some some permanents in the grave. All right, archangel. Okay, we can kill that. That might be worth it. Although we could do Liliana, also could be pretty good. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I don't mind getting down my own Liliana. I think that's maybe worth it. If we get another type in the graveyard too, that could be good. Let's see, what do we have? Artifact, sorcery, land. So just putting a creature or an instant would be useful. Or an enchantment. Um. Hmm. Or you know, a sorcery. Instant. So. I don't mind getting rid of the Revenant, because I can get it back with Zombify. And this will let me attack twice at the uh, Archangel. Okay. So that's the reason to do this. And then also, taking up the Liliana is good, just in general. They make tokens. You can also wipe them away with this if we draw land. Okay, hit the land. It's good. Um, let's see. So this should work. Let's just do this. Yep. Chapter 1. All right. I guess they can make a fish, can't they? I think they can make a fish, yeah. Do I want to trade this for a fish? 
This is like... Maybe not, actually. Hmm. Maybe I just... Maybe I just hold here. Do we want to trade it for a fish? Nah. Let's just plus. And ditch the... Probably the Bitter Triumph. Let's see. What do we got going on? Hmm. Or the Lich Knight's Conquest. Uh, let's do the Bitter Triumph. Yeah, it's fine. Wasn't worth trading for the fish. Ooh, nice. Feldar retreat. Okay. I make a lot of tokies. Yep, yep. Okay, there's a bitter reunion. I think we discard. Wish we had better things to to bring back. Definitely the bitter reunion. I want to discard this. I kind of want to keep it, but let's just see what we hit here. Another FOMO. We could discard that. So, um, brr, brr, zombify. Bring back the revenant. Hmm. I feel like those aren't very useful. Good draw. I mean, you do get to draw the cards, though. I don't know if my life total is actually that worrisome. Yeah, whatever. Let's just let's just draw them both. Play the land, and then uptick this. Ditch the probably the push pull. Okay, and now we could just attack this again. Untap. And trade there. Okay. Do, do, do. We need to find our Drag Skull Reaver. Hopefully. I make some tokens. Kind of the key to the whole the whole shebang here. Turn all non permanent cards with made about three or less from a graveyard to the battlefield. Oh, well, they got a day of judgment. A lot less. Oh, okay. There is the Reaper. So if we get it back, we have to uh, gain a life or draw a card. For this to work. Um, do, do, do. So we could, I mean, we could get it, just get it back. It would be nice to. Hmm. We get it back and then just hold the. One, two, three. So if I attack, if I attack and and this thing dies, the revenant. I think that works. Let's just. I think this works. If this dies in combat, for some reason, then I can get them both back. I think they're just gonna sack it to draw a card. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so I think now what I want to do is play FOMO, discard this, and set up for next turn. I kind of want this to die. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Do this. And then do this. Do 
this. I could also try to... I could just also make myself sacrifice the Revenant. Hmm. And then set up for next turn that way. It's fine. I'm afraid of a sweeper here. We all have things we that exiles everything. That would be pretty bad for me. Oh, okay, they're going to get lost that. Okay. But yeah, Sunfall... Basically... Not completely game over, but... Alright, well, I can get back two things. Which I will do here. Try to have a chance. Yeah, I think if I had... Um, yeah, I'll be doing work, yeah. Definitely could have played this differently and probably won. Played around Sunfall. Alright, Day of Judgment. And, can I keep that to discard? Um... Doo -doo -doo -doo. I think we just need to start doing this. Well, uh, no, we'll just do one. We'll do this. Let's us figure out what, what we draw next turn to see if we have a chance here. But yeah, definitely made a lot of mistakes. I think I could have had myself sacrifice the... Uh, The Starving Revenant in one last turn. Ah, so close, yeah. Well, I can still get back the, the Revenant here. Or the Reaver, sorry. Um, and then hope to draw a Revenant off the top. Good game. All right. Good game. Yep. I think I could have won that one if I had played a little differently. If I just made myself sacrifice it, I would have would have won. Cool. So, welcome back to the wrap up. Today was a fun one, built around the Drog Skull Reaver. Starving Revenant combo. Uh, we were able to, in a few games, get the combo off. I definitely messed up in um, that one game against the Mono White deck. Should have actually just used Liana to sacrifice my own Starving Revenant so that it was in the graveyard so I could bring it back the following turn with Lich Knight's Conquest. If I had done that, I would have won with an infinite combo. But, um, you know, live and learn. The deck was, you know, pretty sweet overall. Kind of fun. Um, you know, I'm not really necessarily sure this is, like, better than... Uh, you know, reanimating something big like Atraxa instead of just the Reaver. You know, the Reaver is certainly a worse card than Atraxa just on its own, but it does have this infinite combo. So that's why we were playing it. And um, it's fine sometimes on its own. Obviously, it's it used to be quite the bomb um, before, but, you know, now they print like Atraxas and uh, Vagavos, things like that, that you just like are impossible to kill. Um, so that is, you know, certainly a, a product of the times, but... <laughs> This is a fun one. Um, yeah, I would definitely recommend it if you want to kind of have fun. If you want to be super competitive, probably not play this list. Although I feel like the reanimation shell is kind of good here. Um, this red-black reanimation shell, which is nice. So, like, you could adjust, you know, just play more Zombifies instead of the Lich Knight's Conquests and play um, Atraxas and big things that you really want to get back uh, if you wanted to kind of go that route. But, um this is definitely a fun one. Let me know in the comments below what you think about it. Um, really appreciate you watching. Hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.